Hello everyone, welcome back to the Legend of Pants Anchor Channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at uh, Friday's chart for September 1st. So first of all, we got the um, third Equalizer film that just got released. And it's already made uh, $13.1 million for the box um, for the first day of its release. Followed by Barbie, which had just gotten $600 million in the domestic box office and as you can see blue beetle just reached 50 million as well and we go down here further and we can see here that there is no um there is no data for golda or retribution that's probably because they haven't updated it yet same thing for sound of freedom it isn't there either um if we go down here we can see that Mission Impossible just reached 169 million. It's catching up with Indiana Jones, and it may reach the top ten if nothing ends up um overtaking it. So let's go to the total domestic chart. I've heard that MGM just re-released something, like. With a bunch of new theaters. I'm not sure where it is right now though. So. First of all the top 10 is still the same. Top 15 is still the same. Team N2 is on the way to reach number 16 and 17. Um, the Meg is still catching up to number 21 spot. And we go down here. Haunted Mansion just reached $63 million, so it's got a little over a million dollars left to reach the top 25. Um, however, it depends if the Equalizer 3 um, reaches it before. Blue Beetle just reached the top 30, just be no hard feelings, and it may reach number 29 tomorrow, depending on if it gains over a million, um, and a million and 300,000. So next up, uh, Gran Turismo is still on its way to reach the top 40 if, you know, the Equalizer doesn't reach it before then. However, there's a $2 million difference, so it's going to take a little bit longer. However, I do believe it will reach the top 40. In fact, it, I think that it will reach the top 30. However, I'm not sure about the top 25. Stray is continually um, getting closer and closer to reaching number 43. And as we can see here, the Equalizer 3 got number 53 on its first Friday. However, with previews, I'm pretty sure that it had 3 million. So technically, it should be in the top 50. However, I don't think that they are counting previews. So, so far, it's in the top 53. I do believe it will reach the top 50 tomorrow because I do because I think that it will gain like 10 million still. Like, it will probably, like, it's going to be really, really difficult for the Equalizer 3 not to make it into the top 50 tomorrow. Uh, yeah, we got a bunch of, we got two, no, we got only one, um, never mind. Right above it is The Last Voyage of the Mentor, which is pretty much sloped off. And I didn't do Thursday either, so Retribution's data is in. So it is at the top 75, even though we don't have uh, Friday's data. Um, go down here, and the hill is at number 81. I do believe that it will beat Theater Camp tomorrow. Um, in fact, I do believe that it will reach, like, 200,000, gain 200 or 500,000 or something, and then Golda still doesn't have its, um, box office data in yet. So, it's probably around number 90. However, tomorrow it will probably be number 89. 
And then, of course, Jules is still on the path to pass somewhere in Queens and still make it in the top 100. However, it will definitely fall out because there's a little bit of a steep slope between number 99 and number 98. And this movie isn't really doing too well. And lastly, we go to the release schedule and... For September 2nd, there's nothing. However, tomorrow on Sunday, They Live will have a special engagement re-release. And on September 6th, there will be an Untitled Anime Film Festival. Um, And in a week, we will see the official release of two new movies that are hyped. They are both sequels, so they are definitely getting hyped um i know that the nun was extremely popular so i do believe that it will be popular um as a sequel and then next up is next friday i believe 